Hello and welcome to day two of X Games here in Teen. As you can see behind me, the pipe's cut and the slow star course is on. And it's a day of mixed emotions because the sun came out today and obviously X Games is a big event, everyone's very happy to be here. But unfortunately yesterday's bad weather knocked Woodsy out of the men's ski slope star, so he wasn't in the final today, which was eventually won by McRae Williams. And then later on this afternoon, in the men's snowboard slope star, um, Jamie Nichols didn't manage to qualify for the final either. So there's now two of our big British hopefuls are out. So now the field is just full of Europeans, Canadians and Americans, which is great, I suppose. Anyway, later on today we're going to look at the uh, half pipe final and the women are on course at the moment in the swim and ski slope style. We still also, of course, have the men's snowboard slope style to look forward to. So there is plenty still to look forward to here in Teen over the next uh, few hours and, of course, tomorrow. The park down at the bottom in Teen is going off as well. There's live music, there's loads of uh, events and loads of stalls on. X Games, as ever, is proving to be an amazing event that everyone's enjoying. But it's just a bit of a shame there aren't more Brits and our hopes now rest on the very young shoulders, although more than capable shoulders, of Amy Fuller. So here at X Games with British Olympic hopefuls and X Games hopefuls, Amy Fuller and uh, Jamie Nichols. Jamie, tell us about your day here at X Games. Uh, today I guess didn't go all, well, what I planned it to go to, but um, I mean, my first run I fell and then I kind of wanted to land the second run, which I wanted to do first time. But then the second run I didn't really have anything to do like to push it, you know, so it'd be nice to have free runs, but that's how it goes. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So 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 you, you won't be in the uh the finals um no. is it tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. But Amy you are you're you are now competing um yeah. tomorrow in the women's slow style. How are you looking forward to that? I'm uh, really looking forward to it. I've been here a couple of years now and uh, yeah, definitely coming back now and I've got a few new tricks under my belt so really hope I can put down a good solid run and see where it takes me. She will, she will. She will, she will. We have, we have faith in you, we have faith in you. Um, the comp seems to have been quite weird this week with the sort of the weather coming in. Woodsy went out quite early and some of the, the yeah, real yeah. big names in the ski sort of went out early. Um, do, do you think, is, I mean, the, the conditions are the same for everyone, I guess. How does that... It's, it's just how it goes sometimes, you know. It's anyone's game out there. Like, everyone can do really well. You know, these are the best, you know, ski and snowboarders in the world and everyone's out for a chance to win, so, yeah. Let's hope she wins tomorrow. Yes. No pressure, Amy. No, no pressure at all. No pressure. No pressure. I'm like the only Brit get left in the contest. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to get round to that. You are now the only Brit left in the contest, and then and there's, there's obviously a lot of sort of expectation on you. Does, does that make it harder, better? Uh, to be honest, I'm trying like not think about the expectations, and obviously I want to do well for all of you guys, but yeah, just just in there to get my own run down. And if I get my run down, I'll be stoked. I won't care about the result, like. Yeah, just land something. Just want to get something solid down, and yeah, we'll see where it takes me. Cool. And speaking of expectation, obviously you must get this all the time. But the Olympics are coming up. Um, riding in comps like this prior to, you know, stuff like that coming around, and you know, these these sort of bigger comps, is that good? Sort of a good sort of measure of where you're at compared to the rest of the world? Or I think, uh, these contests are, are really fun. They're slightly different to the fish ones we've been doing all season. Um, got a slightly different vibe, but yeah, it's 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 <laughs> exciting. You know, the fish tour. It's something new. So. Um, yeah, we're, we're all competing on that at the minute, trying to get points, as well as doing a few of the TTR and big like X Games contests. So it's definitely exciting times, and there's just so much going on. So we'll Too see. We'll, yeah, we'll see. Too we'll much. see where it goes. And the Olympics is going to be scary. <laughs> really it's just scary. That bit when you just stood at the top of the drop in. It's like, oh god, there's people watching you everywhere. All you'll, you'll become household names, like know. that, like that ginger long jumper who I definitely remember from the Olympics. You guys will be like that. You're like. You just do really bad, like Eddie the Eagle did, and just yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows who Eddie the Eagle is. It's cool. It's cool. Exactly. Just well, and come last. Yeah. Well, well knows yeah. That. Best of luck with that. <laughs> Cheers, uh, Speaker State, yeah, and no best worries. of luck tomorrow, Amy. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll hopefully see you guys uh, the next comp. Have it, Amy. Have it, Amy. Yeah. You got this. Whoop.